talk about uh, a series of the charts that actually you can see they have a specific shape and they have uh, kind of the uh, link between them uh, so for example there are a couple of examples in the uh, gallery here so one of them is the character co-occurrence in Les Miserables uh, theater so as you see that is had a specific shape, is a custom shape that we have the character's name here and it shows that which one is connected to which one or in another example uh, this one so you see that is actually they are connected to you know, same as the actually in a, in a circular way or uh, you can see in a different one so you you will see some of them are in the same shape if you have some more yeah just that for so we are going to see that how they created so i'm going to the launch the uh, chart equator here uh, so just me launch from here so here uh, you remember that from the previous video if you want to create a chart we normally use the data but in to creating these type of the charts that they also have some connection some link connection between the one group to the another group kind of the uh, connection and parent child uh, uh, kind of style we also should have another uh, table uh, as a csv file again as a link i'm going to show you the data first so the data that i have is actually I created data set uh, I will share the data set that I have I'm using power bi to kind of make them as a two separate one so I have a uh, two tables one of them that is node actually node one has the name of the actually characters with the ID that's the same as their name and also with the group that they belong to the which group so these uh, people are belong to the group one the other one is belong to the group two and the other so these are the data type that i have maybe they appear in the same episode so they actually they have the group and also some of them may connect it to the other group so we are going to see the link so this is just the uh, name and group of the data the other uh, table or data that i have is about the connection between them so for example i'm saying that so these people are not connecting to the other but you see that here this person is kind of connected to this person they are appear in the same episode so source id and target id here and um for example maybe the number of the time that they appear or any value that shows the strength can be put here so uh, two type of the data we need for creating that two that series of the charts one we call it as a data normal data that i call it node um, that talk about the kind of the just the node of the data so if you imagine as a node and link so these are node of the data and we have another data set that shows that how these nodes are connected to each other with a what uh, actually a strength or value so it's difference between each of them so i'm going to actually back to the chart here so back to the chart articulator uh, for the data i import the node one let's miss the node and for the other one i import the link so this is data this is link so when i create now you see here in the left side previously we just have column and we don't have any uh, type of data as link data we have link data over here so let's start so i'm going to add a, a bar here i'm going to add a bar over here and uh, we can start to actually draw the chart so uh, i want that each bar so if you see bar like this so it's good otherwise you should click here and change so noises based on the x axis that is stack x uh, but uh, you can change it to the other but this scenario i want it to be as, as a stacks x 
here and I want that each bar that is actually part of the glyph uh, and as a shape shows the group name so each color of the each bar should shows me the group name so you see that we have different group so we have different color so uh, I'm going to talk about these two actually are responsible to create different shapes uh, I can't uh, you see that is create a polar chart for me so if i click on that and drag and drop it here you will see that i will have a kind of the uh, i will have a, a polar chart here that i can if i click on you see that it's become a bit uh, blue I, you can change the size to be what it has also you can change the bar here if you have a value here another value here you can change the bar type over here so uh, i will show you in another example that we have a, a value some values in the uh, in the column and we can change the length of the bar chart so for example uh, uh it nothing shows here but imagine that here you can change the uh, height and width of the other for this example is not really good because it's not impact that much but in the other example i will show you now in this example i couldn't show that one so here is actually is a polar chart now i can actually i want to show the name of the each character on b side of the bar so uh, same as the previous one i need a text here text with a dot because i want to show it on the glyph for the each rows of the data beside the shape so i click here and put it over there and maybe put it a bit outside you can change it to be something like this and the text should be the name of the character so this is a one also i can change the location to be here uh, now i want to create the link so this time if you click on link you will see that uh, so we have line and band so you can choose between each of them uh, for this scenario we just want to create a line uh, in the previous example of the slope chart and the other we don't have this option this option by link data is actually comes from the data that we import here so i click on that it's create a link between them so you can change that one the color you can uh, make it as an arc to make it a bit nicer you can so just make sure you click on the link and you can change the capacity of the ones to become a bit lighter so much nicer moreover you can use this strand to identify the width of the each arc so you remember we have uh, the strength on the link data so the any any value you have here uh, as a numerical value if you drag and drop it for the link for the weight is actually change the size and the width of the link over here so to make it a bit better so oh, you can kind of change the chart so everything can fix here i try to do that yeah so now is actually it should be just make sure that you can fit that one on the one kind of in the one circle so if you see something is outside that means that is going to be checked so for example you can change the size so i i think that the size is a bit big so i change it to 10 so it's become a bit smaller and yeah so we can change it to have more space over here cool so this is a chart that we actually we have so uh, i'm kind of uh just i can save it if you save it uh you can save it to the browser so i change it to the uh, polar chart so when i save it it actually comes to the here so you see that is the open one so i can see all of the charts that i have in this browser if i open my chart calculator in a different browser and if i actually go to the launch and i open i have different so it's kind of stored in a diff in the just one browser so these are the charts that i 
creating. I'm going to show you the other one. So that's an interesting one that we have. I'm going to get a new one, create a new one. Again, a node and the link, the same data that I use. And same approach. I'm going to drag and drop it here and the group for the fill. So we have the same thing. So just we have same scenario. This time, instead of using the polar, I want to draw a custom curve. So I drag and drop it here. So it's kind of shaped like this. And you can kind of click on one of them and you want to set, I want to draw something like this. So it's become something like that. So that's a really interesting one. I recommend that create this one after you create all of the connection to get a nicer chart. So for example, I want to show it something like this. So it's showing a chart for me like that. So that's a uh, kind of the key things uh, that we have over here. So just make sure that we have enough space of that. So now I'm going to actually create that one. So the charts that we had just back to the normal. So same as the previous one, I'm going to uh, kind of um, create the chart over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the, um, on the one and for the heat of the chart, I just put 15. So it's become a bit just smaller. So you see that now it's like that. Uh, same as previous one, we want to put the, uh, actually the name of the people at the back and let me a bit zoom it. So just make sure that you put it over here. So same as the other one, just, uh, and the name of the people. So it's same similar, it's so similar to what we have over there. You can create the link again based on that. And you just need to click on that to click on these two icon here to bring the charts over there. Again, the text is too, I think, big. So now, uh, again, you can change the link size over here from the capacity. So you can change it. You can add the strength. So same uh, what we have actually, same as the other one. The only thing is that this time I want to actually, instead of creating a polar one, I want to create a custom curve. So I click on that. I drag. You should drag it here to make it uh, to become as the orange one. So you click here. So you have a chart here. Now click on the one of the link over here to see these two icon. This is a custom one. So I want to create some charts like this. So oh, maybe not the, sorry. Uh, it's, it's really matter where you start. So I click here and I start to from here. So when I do that, then all of the links is beside, is come inside that. So the direction is so, matter so if i start to actually to draw it from this side all of the actually links is going to be the outside so that's a kind of the uh, fun we can have with that so any shape just make sure that you create a kind of the nice one uh, so any shape can be there just make sure it's readable so i think so that's the most important things but you can make fun with these too. Uh, so the things that actually I explain here, if you back to the Charticulator uh, website, go to the gallery. So I actually, you see that how we can create these three type of the chart with this data set. I already upload the data set uh, to the, uh, actually to the description of this uh, video. Uh, you can download it from OneDrive and just try it to see that how it actually works. Thanks so much for watching.